Yesterday, I went to town and got three yards of sandpaper, you know, amongst some other things. Uh, this one's 36 grit, and I have a 60 and 100 over there. And 36 is real gritty. I want to take these edges down a lot. Like, I want, I want all of these edges, maybe, we'll see about up here. But I generally speaking want these edges to be, to be round enough that I could get a paint roller in there. So that'll make it easier to do the fiberglass. So the same thing with these, you know, I just want to increase the radius of the curves on all that. So, and then I also want to knock down this, this ridge. If you look from the end here, you can see this ridge goes down in the middle and then back up. So I want to knock it down a little, kind of make it a little smoother through here. However, um, <clears throat> there's another thing I want to do, which is put like, I don't know, put kind of a, uh, what do you call it? Put a kind of a, I don't even know what to call this, like a ridge along here, so that when the kayak is the right direction, any water that comes into the kayak will obviously go, you know, down to these ridges. But I want it to end up coming in the middle. But I don't want you to sit in it, obviously. So you'll sit on this part. But then this part will, will you know, come down so the water can get there. And I want that to be wide enough that you can get a scoop to dump out any water. I think that would be a nice feat. So that way, when it's flipped over the right way, it'll be kind of like, you know, this not. Very good shape, but kind of like that. So, you know, you sit your butt here and then any water will flow through that middle channel and you can <clears throat> scoop that out easily and it's not going to get on you. So, you know, soggy bottom the whole time. Not sure how I'm making that part yet. I don't know, let me get everything else sanded and then I'll do that. It's probably going to be wood. Or maybe a piece of PVC pipe cut to fit. I don't know, we'll see. Let me get everything else sanded first. It's funny to think that it's, uh, it's March right now. So where I used to live, it's like probably snowy right now. Cause it's so hot right here. <laughs> it's been sunny for days, which is good. Cause you know, I can work on floorboards, you know, solar powered lumber mill and planer and all that. But uh, yeah, it's just really hot, but still comfortable with no shirt on, but it better not get any hotter. Cause I don't have anything else I can take off. Oh, I can take off my shorts, but I'm not going to run around naked. All right, camera battery died. And while I was charging it, I did get some sanding done. This is looking mighty good. Man, sanding is boring <laughs> and arduous. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's like nothing that beats sanding for getting nice curves on things. Then I took a break to make a pizza oven door for a pizza place near here. It's not for, not for me. I don't have a pizza oven yet, but there's a pizza place not too far away. Oh, and now back to Sandy. All right. I want there to be a, all like a pretty much vertical part at the top edge of this, because that's where the top is going to overlap on this. So that, that'll be where the, where they join. I want them to come in like this.
I'd love to put a fan on right now, but then sawdust would be everywhere. Halfway done. There's no way I'm getting the other half done with my arms today. Oh, I feel like my arms are about to fall off. So either, oh, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. I could go do something else. Or I think I might have something. All right, I got this crazy thing, right? I don't use it very often because it has this Velcro. You know, why, why don't they still have the cool things where it just has a the, the clippy in thing, so you can just take some sandpaper and clip it in. Now you gotta buy these stupid Velcro things. Well, I'm not gonna buy any stupid Velcro things. First, because I don't even know where I'd get them, and I don't know how long, whatever, I'm not doing it. All right, I got a piece of cloth. It's pretty fuzzy, should stick to Velcro. And I contact cemented a piece of sandpaper onto it. I'm thinking I can pull this off after but it should stick well enough. You know, the contact cement, I put it on here, I put it on both pieces. Let them basically dry and stuck them together. Anyway, hopefully this will stick. Good enough, maybe. Ooh, there we go. All right, I'm back in business. Yo, Jamie, you're crazy. You could have been doing that from the beginning. Yeah, but then I wouldn't get the muscles, dudes. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's get back to work. Oh, second half of pack. Actually, a little bit past half. You know, the other piece of sandpaper came off. Ripped a little chunk of my cloth out. Put a little less glue on that one. Well, it's tomorrow, and things are looking pretty good. Bit more sanding to do, at least with the rough sanding. I still have to go through, you know, all the fine detail sanding, but I want to get all the rough sanding done. Uh, you know, basically all sh get everything shaped right, and then fill in any little spots with a bit more spackle, and then hopefully I can, you know, do the do all the final sanding. All right, that only took about 10 minutes. There's just a little bit left down there. I didn't get yesterday. So I think the main shaping is done. I think that looks pretty good. The biggest thing about all these corners is that when I have the mold, I'm going to have to get fiberglass into those corners. So I want to make sure they're pretty rounded. Now I can't fit a paint roller in there, but I, I think it's pretty good. So, the last part I want to do, in terms of the shape, is just along that ridge down in the middle there. Yeah, so, pretty much want to fill in that space there, with a little, little hill. <sighs> yeah, alright. No problem. Alright. It's not the worst starting point. Mm -hmm. That's 
the basic gist. It's going to need some sanding and some spackle, obviously, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. All right, it's glued and screwed in there. Got three screws. And I have to wait for the glue to dry before I really start sanding it. So maybe I'll just spackle it right now. Do these like little fillety edges here. Fill in the screw holes. Cool, man. My hammer and my thing here are just holding down the ends to make sure they stick down the glue. All right, I guess I have to go away and do something else now. Oh, man. Ah, you know what? Well, that's drying. Maybe I should do all the rest of the spackling. I'm gonna have to spackle around some screws. And then this edge. I want this edge to be really 90 degrees allized here. And not because I want a 90 degree angle on the final kayak, but I want, I want this to come down, have a, have a little flat spot here that the top can, can attach to. When I do the top part, I'll round this, but I'll make sure there's a flat spot below that. So anyway, it'll make sense later. Oh, all right, let's do final spackle. Hopefully final spackle, fingers crossed. Oh, and I went to the store and got some spackle, whatever this garbage is, because I was thinking it's gonna be smoother than my spackle, which is just like a bucket of basically sawdust and garbage mixed with glue. However, my sawdust mixed with garbage did a really good job. Look at that. It's like very little gappage. Maybe a few little. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid. Anyway, I got this. Might as well use it. All right, spackle. Ooh, not bad. Very smooth. All right, I think that'll work. Use a new one of these. I think that's looking mighty good. Just need to let that spackle cure for, I don't know, a day or two? I don't know how long it'll take. Anyway, I have other things to do, so I'm gonna shut up and go do them. I really like that. 